friends, today we're going to talk about recovering from COVID-19 at home. Um, most individuals can recover from home without needing to be hospitalized, so we're going to go over five different things that you can do to help aid in your recovery at home. We're going to do that through using the acronym VBORN. And V is going to stand for vitamins. There's two supplements that you're going to want to consider. One is vitamin C, that's for immune support. There's some other things out there also for immune support, echinacea and zinc as well. Um, vitamin C is, I prefer you to take it naturally if possible, and that's through fruits. Some examples are oranges, lemons, strawberries, kiwi. If not able to take that in naturally, a supplement will work. The second vitamin is D. And that's because evidence shows that those who are super sick have decreased vitamin D levels. Most people don't know what their vitamin D levels are, so we're just suggesting that go ahead and take some vitamin D. If you can take it naturally, it's through milk, yogurt, oranges, there's others out there. If not, a supplement will also work. The B is going to stand for belly down. Lying on your belly has been super successful in the clinical setting, and there's multiple theories as to why this works. Two of those theories are uh, it gets blood to the areas of the lung that are needed. The second theory I have listed here is it just helps with your secretions. If you're not able to lay on your belly, uh, second best is your side, but try to stay off of your back. In the corner, I have a picture of a pulse oximeter. Um, it's a device that we use to monitor oxygen saturation in the blood. In a perfect world, uh, you're right around 98 to 100%. With this viral respiratory uh, disease, you're going to want to be greater than 90%. It's going to be a little lower than normal. You're also going to notice that you're going to drop when you're up and moving, but if you were to sit down, you should recover within 10 minutes and be greater than 90%. If you don't have a pulse oximeter at home, you can purchase one at any of the chain stores or even get one delivered to your house in about two days from Amazon. O is going to be for over-the-counter medications. You're going to want to take over-the-counter medications to manage your symptoms. An insider tip is many pharmacists can help guide you if you explain what your symptoms are. So for fever, you're going to want to treat your fever with a Tylenol or a Motrin per the directions on the bottle. If you have cough, congestion, secretions, also go to your pharmacy. R is going to stand for rest slash activity. You're going to want to give your body time to heal and spend the majority of your time relaxing. But you're also going to want to have some activity. So my suggestion would be every two hours while awake, uh, move. And if you can get up and walk, that would be best. But if you're unable to walk around the room, the house, I would suggest ankle pumps, which are pictured in the corner there. And the reason we're suggesting activity is to reduce the risk for blood clots, which we talked about in the previous video is one of the complications of COVID. N is going to stand for nutrition slash hydration. You're going to want to make sure that you're eating. Your body needs nutrition to heal. Solids are preferred, but if you're unable to tolerate solids, liquids will do. One good example would be soups. You're also going to want to stay hydrated. If you're not able to eat solid foods or take in liquids, you're going to want to make sure you're getting electrolytes. Electrolytes can be obtained through sports drinks, Pedialyte, Liquid IV, whatever your preference is. So there's our acronym VBORN. If you do all of those things and it's just not working, when do you need to escalate your care? If you're experiencing worsening shortness of breath or cough, you're definitely going to want to reach out to your provider. Uncontrolled fever. And when I say fever, we're typically looking at greater than 101. Chest pain or pressure that does not go away is also concerning. New confusion and signs of dehydration. So muscle cramps, cotton mouth, are all reasons that you would need to reach out to your primary care physician or an urgent care to seek additional assessment. I want to stress that the percentage of patients that need escalated care is small, especially in the Omicron variant. However, those that do are seeing these symptoms around seven to 10 days after their original symptoms started. 
In summary, VBORN stands for vitamins, belly down, over-the-counter medications to treat your symptoms, rest and activity, nutrition, and hydration. If symptoms are worse, escalate your care. Well, friends, now you have my tips for successful recovery.